Hey YouTube community, uh, this is me kicking off my first video of a series I'm going to call Tesla Towing. Um, so some you probably have seen a lot of is Tesla reviews and, and stuff like uh, quality issues and stuff like that with people's Teslas. Um, and I should probably do a couple of videos like that with uh, those things about my Tesla, but I want to kick off something a little bit more unique. Um, so I have a hitch installed on my Tesla. Pretty pretty unique thing, you don't really see that, especially on a Model 3. I know they they have that in Europe, but in uh, from the factory they have that in Europe. But here in the United States, you have to go third party. So I went with uh, Stealth Hitch. Nice thing about that is you can take the hitch off completely and you can't even tell that the, the tow bar is installed. So um, I'm going to go into the details about that later. Today I'm just going to show you my setup um, and what I'm towing. So Tesla towing. Let's tow it. Tesla tow it. Uh, trying to come up with some uh, catchy phrases for that. But um, uh, I'm also probably just going to have some B-roll of the, Tesla, the car driving and it backing up to the hitch. Um, so look forward to that. This is um, my hitch setup, and what I was talking about with the uh, with the stealth hitch is this whole attachment right here drops out completely. So there's no square, no nothing like that, which has some of its own disadvantages. You have to sw if you want to do like a um, if you want to do like a rack uh, for bicycles or uh, a um, basket or something, you have to put on a different attachment. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I still have used this thing. I still have mounted my flag, which has a square, and I have a, a couple of mountain bike racks right there. Mountain bike racks. I've used all those on the Tesla. Works great. Um, really, no regrets on this uh, this hitch. It's worked excellent. Um, so this is what I'm towing today. It's just a trash trash um, day. I had a roommate move out, so he put a bunch of his stuff in here. Um, and uh, this is something kind of neat for for holding my trash can in place. Um, the board helps clear the wheels and keep it upright. And then put these D-rings in, keep it nice and tight. My setup before was uh, hook it on here. Uh, I was kind of iffy. Um, and because the wheels kind of, it just wasn't as secure. So that's something I did a, like a month ago or something. Enjoyed that. But um, uh, also, let's get back to not looking at my trash, but just doing the hitch review thing. So as you see, it has a four pin connector for tail lights, but the tail lights on this trailer are broken. So I don't really use that. Uh, I need to fix them. But this trailer... I towed all the way from New Jersey and that'll be a another follow-up video just on my experience with that and as obvious you know it it drained my battery dramatically um but the I was the these lights work so I was able to test that and they do work it's pretty neat to test out the the trailer lights because you can use your phone to control uh, lights on and off from standing behind the car so you're able to test that without having somebody press on the brakes you can all test it yourself so anyways uh now i'm just gonna tow it to the dump get some b-roll and show you guys how it pulls so one of the coolest things about having a tesla that tows a towing tesla is this rear view camera makes it so easy backing it up i did not have to move that trailer at all i got the ball right under the hitch and lowered it down it, it's absolutely game changing it's, it's awesome now what i will say is backing this trailer up because the position of the the wide angle lens rear view camera is fairly difficult it would be better if it was positioned higher Maybe you couldn't get the ball in the photo that or the picture that way, but for backing it up and seeing the surrounding, it is 
very difficult. Um, the rear view uh, visibility of the car is not that great, especially compared to, drop my phone, especially compared to my other car, which is the yellow dragon you probably saw over there, the yellow dragon. That has great visibility, but this one can't see shit really. But um, yeah, any point in time you want to watch your load, just turn on your camera. It's it's awesome, game changing. As you probably notice, now that the trailer is back there, it's pretty much always going to pick up something back there, close by, with its uh, with its um, ultrasonic sensors. I gotta go kind of slow because I don't I don't know how heavily weighted down some of the trash is. Somebody's behind me, but um, the this right here that's the ultrasonic sensors or the cameras picking up the trailer, always warning. So uh, that can be bad if you're backing up and it's just constantly beeping. Um, so luckily Tesla allows you to turn that off. Um, you just hit the speaker symbol and it, it mutes it. And that's for anything really. So sometimes when you're backing up to your garage um, and it, you know, even even me, I get really close to the to the, the side of my garage and it's just beeping, beeping constantly as I back into it. I just turn that off. I don't really need that warning. So I turn it off. Sometimes if I'm in a new scenario, I don't really know my surroundings as much. I turn it back on, but um, yeah, I just turn that off. And that way this, the trailer being back there, uh, being very annoying with its beeping doesn't, uh, doesn't annoy the hell out of me. Now, um, one of the things that I was most curious about when I got this uh, trailer and used it for the first time um, is will it go into autopilot with the trailer there? And I'm about to demonstrate it for you as soon as I get past this green light. So, there you go. It is still changes lanes and, and everything. It's uh, pretty neat. It's really nice that they uh, did not disable that feature when you're tr towing a trailer. Because um, I, as I said earlier, I towed this all the way from New Jersey and autopilot was a dream. It was excellent. So also, I just want to watch my load. So here, now I can see my load. Make sure everything's still there not flying off and stuff like that that board kind of gets in the way and that kind of goes into the position of the camera probably be better for the cyber truck i would assume because the cyber truck's so tall uh naturally it's uh camera is going to be probably taller so um not sure just speculation there of course so i'm really close to the trash it's like a less than five minutes to get there so where where i live i live not in the city but in the county of florence and um you have the option of doing uh private trash pickup and i would actually pay for it honestly that's not the reason i take out my own trash but every time i've called the company they never pick up the phone so it goes to tell you, you gotta you gotta be able to be accessible by your customers to have a su successful business. Or I guess they're doing fine. They still take out trash, it's Timminsville trash or something like that. Timminsville garbage pickup. But um, every time I've tried to call them, no voicemail, no nothing, just keeps ringing. Terrible, terrible service, really. I mean, I would pay for their services. It's not that much. I'm already in my driveway, but I am going to attempt to show you guys how this thing backs up. I'm going to try and give you guys the perspective directly on the uh, from the Tesla Cam footage. Unfortunately, this is going to be the only Tesla Cam footage that I have because uh, I didn't realize my 
Uh, my my thumb drive is pretty small. I think it's like 16 gigabytes. They recommend 64. Um, so it doesn't actually keep that many videos. Um, and uh, I had it filled up. Uh, interesting thing is when I was looking through it just now, there was um, there was some kids that visited my car 1 a.m. Wednesday morning, uh, which is two days ago. So uh, there's going to be a follow-up video on that, I'm sure. Uh, just to show you guys that footage but um, now I finally got uh, enough and I got the, the red on the camera right there means that I can push it and record so now that I have that I'm just gonna switch to this view now As you can see from the footage, you can't really see how far you are away from the target, which I want the trailer in the same position. So my target is to back it up all the way to that point. So another really cool thing about it being a Tesla and a driving car is it can use the summon feature. It can go front, forward and backward uh, using this feature right here called summon. Now the question is, does it work with a trailer behind it? That's a pretty obvious, uh, you know, um, ambiguous thing because there's some space, but there's also uh, uh, this massive piece blocking it. You would think maybe it just wouldn't want to move because there's that bar right there. So I'm going to demonstrate that and how that works right now. And it's really cool. Uh, I guess I, I spoiled it, but it, it's really cool because... Now you can back it up to the inch and stand behind and verify your own work, your own um, placement. I moves very slowly. And if the trailer starts to jackknife on you, you're kind of screwed. So that, that pause is because it doesn't, it was getting the resistance of the hill. Boom. Isn't that so cool? Now all I gotta do is unhitch it and park my Tesla. Love this car. Uh, like, subscribe. I know there's a couple people at Gavin. Shout out to Gavin. who's saying, where's the videos? I promised him some videos. So this is it, man. Um, tell me your thoughts. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm try So this year... I've uh, st uh, did, done a uh, New Year's resolution of getting to my payout threshold for YouTube, which is only a hundred dollars. Been on it for years and years and years, and never made but like I don't know. I think I'm at three dollar and twenty six cents. Um, but if I could get some help from the community, I'd really love to get to that payout threshold and. You know even more obviously but um i would really love to like use that money to get better camera equipment and maybe make this more of a thing for me i've always wanted to be a youtuber this backup camera makes oh my gosh it makes it so easy so easy so uh, talking and backing up at the same time Never have I ever backed into anything with my Tesla. But um, like, subscribe, um, comment, uh, tweet out. You know, I would. It would be really cool if I could get. You know, this is like brand new, but it'd be really cool if I could get like a sponsorship with uh, Stealth Hitch. I do like their product. They're not paying me to do this, but um, it tweet out and and uh, tweet out at Elon. I'm, I would love to get a job at at. Uh, Tesla actually I've, I've been turned down but uh yeah yeah um 
like subscribe again and this is uh i haven't come up with what my sign out is um i don't think there's enough like content for just towing that was kind of the thought um but i don't think there's enough content for that i'd like to be more general so uh thinking just uh my nickname is the yeti uh so my first name is bryce so this is b yeti signing out and i'll see you guys next time